Australia, the island, clip three. In clip two, we left you with the canoeist. And there they go, just around the headland, out of sight. Bye, guys. In this section, it's a matter of, it's time for a dip. Everybody needs a bath. And what better place than the water around this island, which generally is perfectly clear. But on this trip, it had quite a bit of uh, milky uh, look about it. Hard to film. Uh, underwater, that is. We did a fair bit of uh, underwater video on this trip. Uh, not all of it here, but uh, we'll put that up on another channel. Bloody hell. Just listen to the wind in this piece of video. It's somewhat like a cyclonic sound. The wind coming across, as you can see by those dark patches, performed very oddly and made strange sounds uh, like thunder coming across. Uh, it was pressurised in big rolls coming across this bay towards us from a southern direction.
I put this section in so you could see the rocky outcrops underneath the water when the tide's up and uh, decide on which tide to swim in. You could cut your feet on some of these rocks, but uh, when they're exposed like this at low tide, which it is now, not quite total low tide, but fairly low, you can get an idea of to where you should be if you're on this island at any time. A nasty cut on some of this coral here or rocks or shells can be, turn up pretty nasty.